All right, hello everybody, and welcome to the Mass Effect 2 Vanguard series. I'm Travis Chandler of Chandler Gaming. This is episode two of the Vanguard series of Mass Effect 2. But I fixed that little snag, so... Okay, so like in the first Mass Effect, you have to go around the ship and talk to everyone. You don't have to, but I like to do it. I think it's fun. So we're coming down here first to the lowest level. What, what do we got here? Oh, I know who we're talking to. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on. Will do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. Because I'm a caring commander. <laughs> So, now we're going to see who's up here. Deck three. Hey, it's Dr. Chalk was. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Okay, the guy who voices Gardner and the guy who voices, um... Did humanity proud that day. Who voices Udina are the same person. How can I be a service? You have everything you need. I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. 
Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. All right, then we're going to go up here to the CIC deck. Okay, we're going to talk to Mr. Jacob. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. All right. Then we got one more, or no, two people more to talk to. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby, better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead. But it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, this seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, leather? Leather? <laughs> Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. 
We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? I better go. Okay. Welcome aboard, Commander. All right. So here's the messages. They just tell you all the DLC stuff, and they tell you Anderson wants to see you on the Citadel. So... And you start out with, I think, 400,000 credits, I think it is, if you import from Mass Effect 1. So... So here we go. We're heading off to Omega to go find um, Gordon Solis. There's three missions here, actually, and this is what I like about two and three. They tell you the missions on the planets that you need to go to. Instead of having to look at your journal, try to figure out which planet to go to, and all that bullshit. So I also like the galaxy map as well. How you get to move the ship around yourself instead of just point and click. That's why I got the Legendary Edition. You get all the DLC. You get all the DLC included in the Legendary Edition. That's why I bought it, because it was the cheaper way to go instead of buying the originals. That, and I wanted the up-to-date version, too, so, you know. So what do I choose here? Do I choose a tactician, or do I choose service leader? I go leader, I think. Yep, that's what I did. I went leader with her. And for Jacob, do I go veteran or specialist? Yeah, I went veteran to make him harder to kill. Yep, okay. All right. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Aria waiting. <laughs> Afterlife now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay, well, here's somebody you run into. Please. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Here's something interesting about Zaid. His voice actor ended up being in a episode of SpongeBob. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. Go ahead and get set up on the Normandy. Right. I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. 
I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. Oh! Zai goosed him. I better turn this <laughs> in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Zai goosed him. <laughs> Now this banner gets pretty funny right here. I don't know if I listen to it or not. Let me in. Ari's expecting me. Oh, annoyed. If she were expecting you, you'd be inside. <laughs> You've let ten people in while I've been standing here. Uncaring. They were VIPs. They were VIPs. <laughs> This gets funny. What are you looking at? The man whose day I'm about to ruin. Uh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I, I've got stuff to do anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Why am I so disappointed that Shepard doesn't twirl his pistol on his finger? That would have been funny to see him do that. What are we looking for? Oh, I, that's right, I keep forgetting uh, bottles over here, isn't it? Yeah. You buy the brandy, you come up here. Close enough. Stand still. Try it, and you'll be skating the inside of your colon. I'd almost pay to see that, but it's not an option. You want to talk, you get scanned. All you had to do was ask. I don't ask. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. It sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here. We entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morton. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. How do I get to him? If you really need to find him, a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. Okay. So now we're going to explore Omega a little bit because you can buy some stuff and do some stuff while you're here. So.
Oh, damn, Shepard can't hold his fucking booze. <laughs> what a pussy. <laughs> Say something, Commander. How much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. Racist, batarian bastard. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. <laughs> oh, I will. So now I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. Because this is kind of hard to... Um, it's kind of hard to navigate. No. Or Omega has worked this way for a Witnesses very long time. No one's Omega. changing it now. Human. Tell Captain Gavorn we not kill anyone today. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. I'll just be going. Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn's thoughts get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. Okay. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. No one in their right mind would pay these prices for salvage parts. I know. It's crippling my sales. Drop your prices and I'll consider buying. Otherwise, I'll keep walking. You're right. I'll give you whatever you like for the original price. And if this gets back to Harrod, I'll deal with it then. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Herod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. Thank you. Okay. Well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy everything he has. There's those T6 couplings that the engineers were wanting. Now, in the original, if you bought the DLC, you start with the DLC weapons. You have to buy them in this version. I might have something here for humans. Not much. You might snare a few tourists with these prices, but I'm not giving you a single credit. Sure, you can find things cheaper, if you're willing to risk the black market. Well, you and I could do business if you just charge what this crap is worth. Fine. I'll give you the uppity human biscuit. And that's all you're getting. Okay. <laughs> Never pay full price. Never pay full price.
And there's Herod. Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? I understand you have an arrangement with the Quarian over there. Suspicious? Of course. A businessman must enter certain agreements in order to stay in business. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. If you're worried about competition, why not just buy out a store? Intrigued? I had not considered that before. My fellow merchants on Omega are not known for being easy to shut down. A weak, homesick kid like that shouldn't be a problem for a man like you. Devilishly excited. I have plans to expand. On your advice, I will conquer the Quarian Child. Grateful to thank you for your counsel. I offer you a discount at all of my stores. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Okay. This might be useful. There we go. That's everything from Herod. Now... Where are we going now? I can't remember. I know where we're going. We're going to get, um... That bartender. That's what we're doing now. Do I know you? No, no. Humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. You drank? You should be dead! Wait, you don't want me to. Now, drink it. I. No, you can't. I. Drink it, or I'll blind you one eye at a time. Asshole. Okay, now I'm trying to figure out where to go. Um, then I finally realized, oh shit, it's downstairs, not upstairs, so... It's not in there. See, again, I, I get lost here in Omega. It's kind of hard to navigate. Now, that ain't it. Well, where the fuck is it? There's Harrods. Oh, there it is. Complaining is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. 
Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, no. That's right. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. <laughs> I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Okay, so I get out Zaid just so I can um, get his points set up. What do I go to with him? Warlord or Commando? I think I go Commando. Yep, I do go Commando. Make him harder to kill. Yep. Okay, here we go. Into the slums. I can't decide if there are items here. Yes, there are. There's an item there. And I've got full ammo, so we're good there. and Vorcha shooting anything that moves. Okay. We'll go in. We'll kill him. And they're down. Basic. Pile the bodies in the street and burn them. Okay, well here we go. We're gonna hack. Thanks to the hack module, we get more time. You avoid the red spots. If you hit a red spot, they take away code. If you don't have any code, you uh, fail the hack. You just match the pictures. That's all you do here. All right, what's in here? Power cells, we'll take those. And there's a door in here to bypass. What's in here? Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. Bastards in us in this room. Except we're infected. <laughs> Idiots can't tell the difference between the plague and a simple cough. Nothing to do now but sit tight and wait for them to wise up. Good thing we brought a deck of cards. I don't know why I equip my shotgun here, but I do. Nice. 
Okay. So they were locked in and pretty much told to die. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you have the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <laughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <laughs> Yours and the wretched Borcha. I need to find Morton souls. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <laughs> I hope... <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't. <laughs> yeah, die, you damn Batarian bastard. Could have helped us anyway. Let's move. Yeah, he couldn't have helped. But we'll still take his credits, though. <laughs> Talk about being a grave robber. We'll take that wall save. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to get the jump on these guys. I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do it. Incoming. Alright, come on, there's nothing over here. Alright. Straight down! Now I try using the shotgun here and... I end up doing okay with it. You gotta be close range to really use it. You don't get much ammo for it either, but... It's for when you use charge. That's when you use your shotgun. So what's in here? <sighs> Excuse me. Since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are you hiding here? We set foot on this street and we're dead. Every alien in the district would come after us. 
They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now, trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure, a doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. Cowering in this apartment might keep you alive for a while, but if the mercs don't get you, starvation will. Easy for you to say. You're a soldier armed to the teeth. We're just ordinary people. Yeah, you're making it out like we're cowards or something. That's because you are. Death instead of fighting to stay alive. If you want to survive, you're going to have to earn it. I'm taking out every Borcha and Blue Suns group I find along the way to Morden's clinic. But I can't hold your hand while I'm waging war in the streets. Yeah. Okay. I guess if you can clear a path, we can follow. Like you said, it's our only chance. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Okay. Let's take the credits. I'll take it. We'll take that. That's a free assault rifle upgrade. Kill that stupid Varen. Nice job there. have given up a lot of turf. Just what I like to see. Damn, Zaid's got a grudge. <laughs> hey, we're made it to the clinic. Wait. Almost as good. Causes cramping in Batarians. Supplement with Butemerol. Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Why not Haplicor? Too unstable. Inconsistent results. Demazine, better option. No, no, no. Demazine, toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. 
Professor Morton Solis? Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Fortune. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Fortune a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses by a weapon. Stop. For the love of God, take a breath. I came here to find you, okay? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. Sometimes I get talking fast like that. When I get a lot going. That's why I can relate to Morden. Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks. May come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing, Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future, I hope. Let's yeah. go to the environmental plant. Okay. So that um, M6 hand cannon is um, very powerful. But the crappy thing is, you don't get a lot of ammo for it. So you constantly have to look for thermal clips. You'll see in a minute why I like using the hand cannon. Because it does a lot of damage. All right, put your weapon. There you go. That's what I was gonna say. Put your weapon back on. All right. You get six shots with only eighteen max. Hostiles incoming. Yeah, there you go. Boom. See, that's why I like using this hand cannon. It does a lot of damage. If you get headshots, it does a lot of damage. See, I took down that Vorcha without much trouble. You always want to overload the pyro guys. That way then you can kill them with um, a single attack. And you make them explode so they can do AoE damage. I got him. 
All right, we're gonna get this. There we go. Okay, up the stairs we go. What do we got here? I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Pull that trigger and you're breathing through a new hole in your head. Let him go when you walk away. Oh, God! You must think Batarians are stupid. What's to stop you from killing us if we let him go? Let him live, I let you leave. Kill him, I do the same to you. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? How do I know you won't shoot me in the back as soon as I turn around? Like I thought. Kill them all. Oh my god. You murdered them. In cold blood. Damn right I did. Open your eyes, kid. Sometimes life is kill or be killed. With everything going on now, I'd think you'd have figured that out. This... This is wrong. Wait until Morden hears about this. Okay, we're full on ammo. I believe... Nope, we got another room to go. Two, two rooms to go. See, see why I love the hand cannon? You see why I love the hand cannon? Jesus, it does so much damage. You know? Alright, now we run to cover. Run, run, run. As fast as we can. Did I get him? I did get him. I got him too. I got him. Got him. Or I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. There, I got him. Now they're all downstairs. Okay. See, this is why I love this hand cannon. I, ju I just love it so much. We're getting close to the environmental controls. Um, I go down here to see if there's anything item-wise doesn't look like it. And because I took so long, I lost the ammo. No, I didn't. It's right there. And I'm looking for more items is what I'm doing. Which there don't seem to be any.
We killed the Krogan. Burn, you son of a bitch, burn. Okay, there's some salvage parts. There's another hundred credits for being maxed out on Metagel. The environmental controls should be nearby. We need to insert the cure, then reactivate the fans. You don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. I've had enough of this. <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! You may think so, but we actually kill you first. Ah, oh, we blew up his buddy, too. Okay. Excellent. The cure is in place. Now we need to reactivate the fans. There, we got both the rocket launcher bastards. Anyone try any crispy, um, Borcha? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha we blew up their buddies. Get out of the way, Zaid. There we go. This fan is powering back up. We still need to activate the other one. Another wave of these bastards. See, as you can tell, I'm a pretty decent shot. Oh, there's one up there. Two up there. But I got them both. <laughs> oh, there's one up there too. Two more up there. Oh, I think we got them both. There we go. I think we did. I think we got them both. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I was way out of position there. This is why you have to take cover. I'm not being smart. I'm. I'm being stupid here instead of. Being smart and hiding in cover. Ha ha ha, got him in the head. Both fans are online. Morden should be pleased. Damn right. And now they just send us back to the clinic. We don't have to walk back. So nice. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. Professor, 
How can you thank these monsters? They butchered those Batarians in cold blood. I risked my life to save you. Hell, I saved this whole damn district. Now you're judging me? Shepard's right. Batarians tortured you, would have killed you. Right to kill them. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the Collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy. Okay. So now they put us right back on the Normandy. Awesome, we don't have to walk back, you know? Thank God. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. Solarians specialize in secret agendas. I'd expect you to understand Cerberus looking out for human interests. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. Airborne virus. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? It is. This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board. Non-human crew members. Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Alright, well that's going to be the end of this video, so I hope you all had fun in this episode. I sure did. And I will see you all in the next episode.